Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to fix the Windows Update Error Code 0x8024500C on Windows 11 in no time. So the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to run the Windows Update Troubleshooter. Now to do this press the Windows bus and then select the settings icon, afterwards make sure that system is selected on the left pane and then on the right side scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and just click on this category. Now in here select the other troubleshooters option and the last thing you have to do is click on the run button next to Windows Update. Now Windows will try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible. Afterwards you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to run the Windows Store Troubleshooter. Now to do this press the Windows button then select the settings icon and afterwards make sure the system is selected on the left pane and again scroll down on the right side until you find the troubleshoot category and click on it and now just click on other troubleshooters and lastly what you have to do is scroll way down until you find the Windows Store Apps troubleshooter and click on the run button next to it. Now Windows will try to detect any issues and fix them as soon as possible and then you can just close this window restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Alternatively, you can also clear the Microsoft Store cache. To do this, press the Windows button, then simply type the following command. Now simply run this command as a run command from the search results and simply wait until the Microsoft Store will reset and then you're good to go. Moving on, another great solution is to check if the Windows Update service is running and if not, just restart it. To do this, press the Windows button, then type in Services and select Services as an application from the search results. Now in here, make sure to scroll way down until you find the Windows Update Service, then simply double click on it to open up its properties window. And from here on, what you have to do is click on the Stop button to stop the service. And lastly, click on Start. If the service is stopped, this will restart the service. One thing you should note is next to Startup Type, you have a drop down menu. Just make sure to click on Automatic. Now just click on apply and ok to save the changes, then restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Next in line, another useful solution is to run SFC and DISM scans. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then type in CMD, then run command prompt as an administrator. Very important. From here on, just make sure to type in the following command, but press enter after each command. Note that the scans can take a bit of time, so don't lose patience. Afterwards, just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to install the Windows Update manual. Now, the first thing you have to do is press the Windows button, then select the settings icon, because we have to find out the KB update number. Click on Windows Update on the left pane, and then on the right side, select the Update History option. Now from here on, just find the problematic update that didn't install on your PC and make sure to note it down or simply copy the KB number. And what you have to do now is open up your default browser and access the link that I posted in the description below. This is the official Microsoft Update Catalog website and what you have to do in here in the search bar is simply copy paste or simply type in the noted KB number and click on the search button. And now the last thing you have to do is find the update that corresponds to your system architecture and click on the download button and once again you'll see that a new window will appear so click on the hyperlink that shows in here and from here on make sure to choose a location preferably on your desktop and click on the save button. Now once this update will be downloaded the last thing you have to do is simply double click on it and everything will be taken care of by Windows. Then you can just restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. However, as an alternative, we highly recommend you to try out Restoro, which is an app that specializes in scanning and repairing any issues with your Windows operating system faster than you think. At the same time, Restoro also repairs damage caused by malware, which is a great plus in functionality. So make sure to check out the link in the description below. And that's it, super simple, isn't it? Of course, if this video helped you, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more quality fixes. I hope you have a great day and thanks for watching.